Hey there, it's Christian from SGN and I'm here to give you a little preview of Ascension Dreamscape uh, to see whether you might fancy coming on to play it. Now, this is a deck building type game, so if you ever played uh, Dominion, it's got that sort of feel to it. So, uh, the game is essentially uh, set in a fantasy uh, land um, and the aim of the game is to achieve a certain amount of honour. Now the honour is represented by um, these little gems here, so the red is five and the little uh, clear ones are one point. Uh, and you're going to build up honour by defeating creatures uh, that are uh, here across, across the middle of the board. Now how you get to start doing that? Well look, you'll start out with um, a, a hand of cards which are going to give you resources. You start out with basic militias for giving you fighting power and apprentices who will give you buying power. Okay? So what you'll do is you'll, you'll draw five cards, you'll look through what you've got and then you'll have a look at well what can I do here? Because you're not only about attacking monsters and gaining honour but you're also going to use your buying power to recruit new heroes to your cause or perhaps to buy powerful magical items and constructs and things like that to fight for you which will give you more attacking power to be able to take on some of the bigger and more powerful creatures that might come out across the middle of the board uh, through the course of the game. So for instance, here I've got a hand of five apprentices, so I've got five money to spend. So I might take this Caustic Conjurer, which costs two, I've still got three left to spend. Nothing else costs three, but I've just taken one off the middle of the board there, so we put this down, and a new monster has come out. So actually I'm starting to look at this board thinking, hey, I'm probably going to need to start getting hold of some militia or something to fight with. And these cards at the top, they're always available. So you can always buy yourself some heavy infantry, so you can start taking out the monsters across the middle, or buy yourself mystics, who will give you even more uh, buying power to recruit some of these more powerful heroes or magical items to your cause. You keep playing this way, uh, going around, everybody building up their deck, trying to work out, do I need to buy something new, or can I maybe attack, defeat that creature? What's really, really fun about this game is that over time, your, as your deck builds, you start putting together a, a really particular way to play it. So you might be um, trying to quickly build up lots of heavy infantry so that you can take out a bunch of monsters uh, and use lots of small characters to try and get lots of power. Or you may take advantage of the thing that makes Ascension Dreamscape slightly different to other Ascension games, and that is these Dreamborn cards here. Now you start the game with these just in front of you. They're almost like another hand of cards that you can buy things from throughout the game. These are super powerful, and they also use another resource we have in the game called Insight, these, uh, th these tokens here. And you'll gain insight by buying stuff out of the, out of the middle. Maybe particular heroes will give you new insight, um, or defeating creatures can even result in you gaining new insight. And when you gain this new insight, you can use it to start buying some of these more powerful cards, and there's loads of them in the game, and start adding these into your deck to use on, on future turns. So, uh, all in all, this is a fast-paced game. We're talking maybe 20 to 30 minutes to play through a game of it and you can have up to four people playing it um, so it's a great game to sort of get through two, three, maybe even four hands uh, of an evening um, or a, a shorter gaming session. It's a great filler if you've only got half an hour or something uh, maybe at the end of a game session you want to get something in before everyone goes home. So, brilliant, fast, quick, um, I look forward to playing it with you.